there's a certain expectation of when you go to college that you have a certain proficiency in math. As a math teacher, I feel really strongly that the students that have really invested and put in the time in my classes and have worked and have done well, I want to make sure that they are prepared for college. And so um, I have gotten feedback from students that have graduated that have gone through the full range of classes. And they appreciated it, that they felt prepared when they, when they got into the college math classes. And I think they really appreciated why I was pushing it after they got into that first college math class. So that's really important to me and kind of central to what I'm trying to accomplish. We added the Math and Human Endeavor class the, after the second year um, that I was teaching here. And the idea was that um, uh, a lot of times as, as kids are going through the core math curriculum, um, no matter how hard I try to get them to think about concepts and, and um, seeing math as reasoning and, and, and so on, Sometimes I just caught, get caught up in thinking that I have to memorize this formula, I have to do this recipe. That's the wrong way to learn math. And so a lot of kids kind of, here they are, they love doing puzzles, they love uh, solving um, riddles, they love doing all these things and they're not recognizing that that is mathematical thinking. And so part of the idea of Math and Human Endeavor was to try to have a very project-based class and have an opportunity outside of the core curriculum to teach some and reinforce some math skills, but at the same time have a very project-based and being especially connecting with things that are not traditionally thought of as, as having mathematical components when in fact they do. And some of that is art. Um, artists, and actually um, during the Renaissance, the great artists, as they were learning to draw with perspective, they were actually drivers of the development of projective geometry. A lot of students just don't see that there's any connection with social studies or social sciences and math. And of course, um, anybody that's been in the field or um, knows that there's very, very strong connections.